It has been all about getting to this stage, and two teams have made it. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. We're just moments away from kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It's FC Twente facing Fiorentina. Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot. Both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. So we can check on the starting lineup. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Well, here's how it looks for Fiorentina Giacomo Bonaventura plays alongside Lucas Torreira in the middle of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And they kick off here. Piontek takes the shot high echelon goalkeeping there going short and a good looking ball not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. On a time for composure on the ball. Possession one. Beyond deck. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, they know they need to stop him. Might jump in front. Keeper did his job to begin with. But well, they've started the game really brightly, and that was so close to taking the lead. And the referee blows for a foul. No let up in the pressing department. Promising attack this. a shame that he couldn't find the target from there are well, being pressed here Cristiano Biraghi and slipped through beautifully now here's Biraghi the attack continues they're making considerable progress every pass hitting its target but then the commentator's curse comes into play 
That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Very quick thinking there. Michel Flapp. Troupe. It is a decent looking attack here. And let's give credit to the defending. Offside the decision. Duncan How can they exploit the space out wide but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending here's Van Volswinkel perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle well, as you can see, Fiorentina have had the majority of the ball, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. He has time to play it over. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Torreira. Nicolas Gonzalez. Lucas Torreira. Well, he's outplayed and outthought him. And it's come off the keeper. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. And a strong tackle. Odrio Zola. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. And they kick off here. Piontek takes the shot high echelon goalkeeping there and a shame that he couldn't find the target from there
plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Lucas Martinez Cuarta. It's a perfect challenge. Sadilek. It's with Flap. Tremendous ball played through. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. Nicolas Gonzalez. It's with Piontek. Well, it could be on for him here. He had to react and did. Untidy in possession. On and on he goes. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Thirty minutes to go then. Duncan Torreira well, they need to get tighter here well nothing comes of it it looked promising it's with Ricky Van Borswinkel Missy Dian showing patience as well as persistence in the build up But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Here it is now, a substitution. to the final 20 minutes Duncan Torreira and now Bonaventura well he's thwarted him almost effortlessly Missy Dian great effort to keep that one in play but after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Michel Flapp. Here's Van Volswinkel. And he's made headway. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff.
corner, kick played in. It comes to absolutely nothing. Could be troublesome. And just what was needed from the goalkeeper. Well, so late in the game. That's a brilliant stop from the keeper. Big moment for him. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. And over comes the corner. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Strong but fair tackle. Nicolas Gonzalez. Only five minutes left for play and tension galore with the teams locked together. Gives it a go. And the decision is one of offside here. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Michel Flapp on the offensive. Is there to be late excitement? Keeping. He's protecting it effectively. Possession one. Defensive efficiency personified. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. And they kick off here. Piontek takes the shot. High echelon goalkeeping there.
Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Won it back. Torreira. Cabral. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Icone. It has to be. Well, it's not going to count. Flag up quickly then. Yeah, he was offside by quite a bit there, and he knew it. Fine play to keep control of the ball. Sadilek. Brahma. And that is going to be a free kick. He goes short. Rather well, sitting ever deeper. Well, sloppy in possession. Nicolas Gonzalez. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Can they hit on the break? All at all, a broken counter attack. They need to get tighter. Very quick thinking there. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. And they kick off here. Piontek takes the shot high echelon goalkeeping there what a shame that he couldn't find the target from there can he deliver it with accuracy And so, 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Missy Dian. Giovanni Truppe. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Might go ahead. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil nil. There it is, they're in front. Well, I love this finish, no messing about. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. That's a good goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Odrio Zola. Lucas Torreira now. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Castrovilli. Giving the ball away. 
Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Missy Dian. They've given it away. And they do like to press whenever they can. It might be on for them. Oh, great save to keep them in it. Well, that's a brilliant save, and it just gives them that little bit of hope now. Now the delivery, not quite spot on with that one. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.